All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of what it takes to uh, get these uh, really curved pieces on the foam. This was uh, one piece, the top of the head. That was gonna be one piece, but uh, I can't <laughs> really shape the foam to that, uh, like, you know, both ways at once with this big piece. So I decided to cut it in half right at the center because this center is gonna be covered up with one of the black bars. Anyway, so um, hopefully I can just cover up that seam and it won't really make too much of a difference. So, um, as you can see, this has a contour and this doesn't, at least not yet. I'm going to take it around my knee and I'm just going to like sort of shape, form it like that. I can even take my uh, handy dandy hair dryer. <laughs> I should probably use a heat gun, but I don't want to buy one. So, um, I'm just going to use a hair dryer and try to get this thing to bend. Starting to be a little more pliable. Um, and I can just go around and make sure it gets into all of those, all of those little contours. This this point right here is tough, but um, you know what? I just have to. I don't know. We'll see what I can do with that. So um, I'll be back, and then I'm gonna take this down and trace it out. And I will be back once I've done that. Okay, guys. As you can see, I have all my pieces uh, from my paper templates traced onto the foam. And now it's time to cut them. Let's do it. Okay guys, so I just got my first piece cut out. This is gonna be one of the pieces that wraps around the head. One of the black pieces here. <laughs> okay, it just fell over. Um, but one thing I realized is that I can't cut this. When I cut this, I can't cut it just straight. I have to cut it at an angle. Because if you look here, you'll see that, um, you can see, you'll see that this sort of slopes down inward and uh, I want to make this as close to the actual helmet as possible so what I had to do was um, well this this edge up here is not the best edge you can see that but uh, I did cut this at an angle um, also this one as well uh, you can probably see it better on that edge this kind of the top kind of sticks out a little more this is where one of this is where the eye will go um, so in order to uh, yeah, make these pieces stick together well, whatever, I gotta cut it at an angle. So, um, gotta put your knife in when you do this. If you do this, you have to put, figure out the angle that you need and um, like work it out in your brain as to how you need to cut it. Uh, whether you need to cut it like this, and you need to cut it like this. But I had to cut it like this. So I went along like that at an angle, holding my knife at an angle the whole time and just one pulling motion, nice and hard right through to make it um, to make it nice and clean. As you can see, some of these edges aren't really super clean. This is my first time cutting foam like this, so I'm a beginner. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll get better, and uh, hopefully I can still use this piece. So uh, let's cut the next one. All right. So I found that um, already I've learned a, a trick that I taught myself. It's, it's really nice to make an initial kind of score line. Um, before you put it in and cut the whole thing. Um, if you give it a score line, it gives the blade something to follow um, and you can make it nice and smooth. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I made the mistake of not doing that with my first piece, but I'm gonna do that, or at least with some of the cuts on the first piece, but I'm gonna do it with this one. So, go along, follow as close to the outline as I can. Only pushing it a very little bit. Very, very tiny bit. Concentrate. 
All right, so I've made my initial score line, and now I'm going to cut this at an angle, um, facing sort of this way, as if this is straight, it's gonna tilt this way a little bit. Um, let's go and hope it's a clean cut. And there goes my decay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, nice. That looks pretty good. All right. As you can see, the edges here are pretty clean. Well, minus this part. Um, but that looks like a fairly clean edge. So I'm happy with that. All right. Well, I've glued these two back pieces together. Um, I gotta reinforce this somehow because the uh, glue is not probably going to hold once I bend it. So I gotta fill that gap. A little bit as you can see if I'm starting to bend it it'll get a gap there so uh, I'm gonna reinforce it on both sides and uh, see how I do with that fill that gap right up this is the inside of the helmet so it doesn't have to look very pretty um, and it's not going to definitely not Fill that sucker up with glue as much as I can. Never done this before, so uh, if I make mistakes or some veteran cosplayers out there see me making a mistake, please let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know what I can do to improve because I'm always looking for better methods. So. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit for a while, and I will come back to you in a few seconds for you, and longer for me. <laughs> okay. So guys, I went ahead and I finished uh, constructing the base of the helmet, pretty much well without the eyes and without the, the bars. Um, so, let me show you what I got. This is what I have so far. Um, I mean, it looks it looks all right. It's not perfect, definitely. I mean, this seam is a mess. Um, and up here was a little. This was like so hard to put together. I had no idea. I totally underestimated how hard this would be to put together. Um, and as you can see, the top of the head has a little bit more of an angle than I would like ideally. But um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm gonna work with it and see what I can do. Um, when I originally assembled it is, well, I don't know if you can see on the camera. Let me check, yeah, but this eye slit is a lot messier than this one um, because when I finally got it together, I noticed that this eye was bigger than this eye um, by a significant amount, which obviously doesn't look right. So um, I had to trim I had to trim some of this off to get them to match. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. And down here is still, well, as you can see, I have like the bottom 
Also, this is a gym guard and everything. Um, it's a little, I feel like it's a little too bulky at the bottom. And if I were to like, like bring it down like that, it starts to look a little bit better. So maybe I'll try to bend it with, with heat or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I have for now. I started doing the bars actually, or I tried to start doing the bars. I cut out all the templates and everything. But the foam that I was gonna use for the bars, I found is pretty terrible. Um, I don't know if you can see the seam on that, but it is freaking like so messy. So when I'm using my my knives, which work fine for the foam that I made this out of, when I'm using my knives, it rips this foam so much. So I'm gonna have to go on a quest tomorrow, try to find some higher quality, well, or higher density, I guess, um, 10 millimeter foam for the bars. Uh, I can find 8 millimeter, and I can find 12 meter, 12, uh, 12 meter. Wow, that'd be big. 12 millimeter in a. In the, uh, in the stuff that I made this out of, but not 10, and I need 10, because that's what the dimensions are, so, yeah. So I was going to try to get the bars put on for this video, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to, so, especially not with how messy it is. So, this is what I have for now. This is my progress this week. Stay tuned for next week, when I will be hopefully finishing the rest of the helmet and starting on the chest piece. Um, I think it'll be exciting, and hopefully I can get this to look a little bit more accurate. But, I mean, for my first try, it's not, it could be worse, let's face it. It could be a lot worse, so. Alright guys, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Decayed Costume video blog, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.